Alrighty, righty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And um, and let me uh, intro this music real quick. Oh, let me, let me kill that program fast. Okay, so this is gonna be Sepientia, um, Dissit Cellulanus. Um, I heard a little bit of this, sounds okay. Um, 1999 to 2000. <clears throat> um, originally, I was actually wanting to, there's also, there was a, another album I wanted to play. Um, I don't, I don't want to go dig it up right now, but, I mean, the thumb, the thumbnail looks freaking awesome. It's like some guy wearing a, one of them big old, those, uh, ram horn masks. I mean, it's, it's not devil worship, it's not devil worship, but it's, a, it's pagan. It's pagan music. It's like, laid back acoustic guitar. I, um, I played that music for, uh, for the Faction Assault video I did on Gems of War. Well, come to find out later that literally the entire album is copyrighted. You know, it would have been fucking nice if they would have put something down like that in the description, like, you know, like a lot of them do, like license to YouTube, and then it's got the list of tracks that are all copyrighted. So, so yeah, I really don't, I really don't like uh, being fake jacks like that, like having the wool pull over my eyes. So, um, I went ahead, as controversial as it might sound, I went ahead and disliked the video, because it's going to be a lot easier to just do that, and then say something on my cast video, or say something about it on my cast video, than have to sit there and try to, try to fight the claim, and I'll probably hear something like, well, it's within his right to say whether or not this, this stuff is copyrighted, and like, no, it, I mean, yeah, it is, I mean, just because you can, or can't, I guess, or just because you can doesn't mean you should. I mean, hell, look at the shit Nintendo's pulled all these years. You know? Suing, you know, suing people that made fan creations of their of their original games. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, it's pretty, you know, pretty bad form. It's kind of a, it's a very douchebaggy thing to do. You know, but again, just because you can doesn't mean you should. So, so again, I just found it easier to just dislike it mention something about it on this cast video and then just be done with it. So, but anyway, let me go ahead and, yeah, I'll leave it at 60. So, hope, when I, I looked at the description on this one, it, it was the same as the last album. It didn't say it was or it didn't say it wasn't, which is, Something else that kind of ticks me off a little bit too, you know. It, I bet, you know, in my mind, the more popular something is, the more likely it's going to get copyrighted. I mean, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't possibly tell me that. You tell me that something like this is going to be more popular than, say, Cardi B's wet ass pussy. I mean, yeah, you, you, you know, you might, you know, you might say, well, I, you know. I have a right to make money off my work. Yeah, but look what you're playing. He, I mean, it's, what, the most you're going to make is jump change. I mean... You know, and, uh, and I'd say roughly six months ago, I became an affiliate. You know, um, you know, I've got a... You know, I've got a few subscribers, but I'm not going to see any of that money until it reaches a grand total of 100 bucks. So... But yet, at least on YouTube, all of my stuff is free to use. You know, I've, I use Creative Commons. For all the sense I've made. But anyway, um... But yeah, I've been on that subject for too long, so let me move along. Um... Uh, just like it's been going on the past few days, um... So, been sick. Um, when I first got it, it was, um, I had kind of a frog in my throat and I was coughing a lot. Just pretty persistent. Uh, but after, but now, the, the cough and the, the frog in my throat are all but gone. And it's now been replaced by, uh, chills, low-grade fever, and fatigue. Um, I've already, I already had to take two nap, two one-hour naps. And, uh, I'm really having a fight taking a third. So, and it looks like the way things, the way things are going right now, 
Um, I might end up having a call in on Wednesday. I hope not. Because I can't afford to take any more sick days. To hear that. Here, let me let me try this. Okay, that helps a little bit. I just uh, I turned the volume up a little bit on my uh, my uh, sound mixer. But yeah, but anyway, um, it's also one of the reasons why I didn't didn't really do a whole lot um I tried up uh, I tried recording a killer instinct video but I lasted maybe five minutes or so and then again you know fatigue is set in because of my illness so I just wasn't into it no uh, and I was um uh, I was gonna try out uh, playing killer instinct Shortly after I played Gems of War for a little while, but again, it I just didn't have the just didn't have the get up and go to get up and play it. So Alright, um I forgot to do something here. So I gotta I gotta pull this up real fast. Always forgetting this. Okay. Um, and on top of that. Looks like um, for a Pinball FX3, it looks like I'm going to be dropping down a league. I think I said this in one of my other cast videos, too. It's just, and for those that don't know how this works, um, every week, the FX3 picks four random tables. And uh, your goal, you're not, you're not trying to beat a high score. You're trying to beat one of three opponents' high scores. So, oh, I'm going to... I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. But, but yeah, and the, the tables I got, the only one I really have a chance with is called Getaway. But I, I mean, I can't, I can't do shit on that, on that table either. So, but yeah. It, and uh, the league starts over tomorrow, or I should say later on today. So it's, yeah. So like I said, it looks like I'm gonna drop down a league, but currently I'm in I'm in bronze one. Um, the way the ranking system works in FX3, it's uh, it starts at bronze three, that's rock bottom, bronze two, bronze one, then it goes to silver three. Silver two, silver one, and then gold three, gold two, etc. There's a, uh, I think there's gold, um, platinum, uh, diamond. So, and and uh, for those, and then um, you guys might know him, uh, Kitaro eighty seven. He drops by my stream every so often. He's he's one of my longest standing followers. We've known each other, and for at least two years, at least. So we go back a while, but he's, I think he's already up in fucking Diamond League. But I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know if it's because of his great pinball skills as much as it is his persistence. Like, uh, I'm at a point now where if, if I came really close to beating a high score, I'll play again. But if, if I can't make any headway at all, I don't even bother. So. With me, it's based on momentum.
But yeah, sorry for um, sorry for going back to this subject, but it just really irks me. I mean, you know, if if I accidentally upload a video that had copyrighted music on it, and it and if if it's because I failed to look at the description that said it wasn't, yeah, that's fine. I'll own up. But when they don't say anything at all, I'm I just I go under the assumption that uh that okay, it's not copyrighted. Now. No, yeah, sure. I can, uh, I can stick with what works, you know, lo-fi music. I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting it down, but you know, I'm the kind of person that likes to listen to a little of everything, not a lot of one thing. And I'm like, I'm like that with my favorite types of music too. You know, you know, my my favorite uh, genre of music is jazz, but I, I don't want to listen to it no 24/7. No, you know, maybe listen to. A, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then go on to another genre like doom metal or something. So I mean, it's it's almost like going back. So yeah, I like I like I like playing new stuff on here. but I only listen to maybe like the first few minutes of this album and it looks like we're getting a bit on the loud side here so let me turn it down some Alright, anyway, um, so, gotta move along. Oh, let me, uh, do something real quick. Uh, because, again, because, uh, I had to, I had to delete my uploaded video to YouTube because of copyrighted music, like I just said, so, I'm checking on the, uh, okay, it's, it's still, it's still processing. I have, I also have it uploaded to Twitch. That's something I pretty much have to do. I have to upload any videos I make. I gotta upload them to both Twitch and YouTube. Mainly Twitch is there as a backup. So, anyway, um, one thing I did, one thing I also did, um, I watched, uh, watched part of a playthrough of Siphon Filter 2. Since, the uh, the first one was such an awesome classic. Um, I tried, tried watching this second one, and it, it is not as good. It, it I don't, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but it's like they took everything, they took everything I liked about it, uh, specifically the voices, and fucked it up. Like, uh, the original, like, one, they had a the main character, Gabe. I mean, I, they, they actually picked, like, the perfect voice actor for it, just, I mean, Leon, give me the highway system protocol, security protocols, you're, Romer's not sophisticated enough to run that kind of operation. He must have an enormous base of operation somewhere. You know, that kind of thing. You know, really low-key voice. Just... Gurdu is finished. I'm ready for evac. You know, that kind of thing. But now, in the second one here, they have him like, uh, they have him yelling and shouting and stuff. Like, he's got a bunch of, bunch of soldiers under him. He's telling them what to do, and it's just... It's just all right, man, move out! Go, 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 go! You know, it just, it sounds totally awkward. You know, definitely not him. All right. Come on, guys, get to that chopper! Move, 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 move! It just, ugh, like, real cringy. And then, um, on top of that, the, uh, the original voice actress, I don't know her name on the first one, she was freaking perfect for that role. But they, uh, I don't know what happened, but they replaced her with somebody else. It, not a good fit. She, she, you know, she sounded kind of bimbo-y. Like they had like a, 
Kind of like uh, the, the last voice actor on the first Siphon Filter, like, was probably, like, in her 30s or something. She sounded kind of mature. But uh, this time around, it's like, it's not like the voice actress, like, is in her late, like, like a freaking late teens or 20s or something. Like, that sounds kind of young. But like I said, it sounds, it sounds a bit like a bimbo. You know? Oh my god, game! I'm, like, infected with a virus. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, um, I, I'm, like, all exhausted. I had to, like, take an adrenaline shot, and I'm okay. You know, that kind of thing. It just, ugh. Then, um, they had another girl in there. I had another girl working with him, and I, I swear, it just... Maybe it's just me, but I swear, man, she sounds almost like Sandy. From Spongebob. I'm like, uh, no. No, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it but I'm still going to I'm still going to watch the whole thing from beginning to end. But yeah, it it's going to be it's going to be some uh going to be some hard going though. I mean, I, I mean what basically what I'm getting at is uh I mean, Siphon Filter is still a great franchise. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, that I can think of at the moment. It's it's second only to uh, Legacy of Kane. The franchise there. That's probably my favorite franchise right there. But I think... Uh, yeah, I think uh, Siphon Filter is probably uh, number two. Um, I... And I... I guess if you'd call it that, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Romance of the Three Kingdoms slash Dynasty Warriors. I mean, it's, it's based on my... I mean, those games are based on my all-time favorite book, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. But uh, the implementation is not quite there. But I, I get that it's um, it's basically a Japanese to English translation, so it doesn't, doesn't always mesh that well. YouTube. Yeah, it's okay. okay. The Twitch video is up and processed, so let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get that uh, prepped up and stuff. So this and none of it's muted. See, this is this is something else that this is something else that kind of ticks. That's something else that kind of ticks me off about about copyright. I mean, YouTube is like uber duper super duper pooper scooper anal about copyright. I mean. I think I'm, I think even, I might be wrong about this, but they even have a, a paint drying video that's copyrighted. Paint dry. But yet, uh, but yet Twitch very, very rarely does stuff, does uh, stuff get muted on here. Now, now back when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV and playing vinyl records, and yeah, a fair, there was, you know, a fair amount of, uh, a fair amount of music got copyrighted, but some of them are freaking gimmies. Um, Led Zeppelin, like real, you know, popular bands again. Led Zeppelin, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Are you experienced? Um, I think, I think there's a few that are copyrighted on there. Um, Purple Haze, but you know, it, uh, you, know, you kind of get the idea. I mean, back when I was playing records, yeah, I was playing obviously popular, uh, popular music, you know, mainstream stuff. Holy, so yeah. Twitch is definitely going to mute that, but as far as, like, the obscure stuff, uh, very rarely. So, you know, it's like, you know, there's no, there's no consensus, because, like, like I said, I mean, Twitch isn't nearly as anal when it comes to copyright as YouTube is. So, I'm, so still putting the finishing touches on my video here. Okay, and my thumbnail should work. It's under one megabyte. All 
Where are you? Okay. Alright, there we go. Finish cropping. Um, let me go ahead and uh, copy paste the link to my Final Fantasy XIV blog. Just a second. Come on. Ah, shit, that's right. Final Fantasy XIV is undergoing maintenance right now, so I'm going to have to do this manually. Whoop, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, so let me publish it. Come on. All right, it's up. Okay, but um, but alrighty, that'll do it for me though. So, um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, and sorry, and sorry for the rambling on, but like I, but. Like I said, when it comes to when it comes to copyright, they're kind of hitting a canker sore. So, yeah. But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. Always appreciated. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, thanks again. Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.